And we're back with our continuing playthrough of Bayonets and Tomahawks, the French and Indian War, where we are now at action round four, uh, with nine action, four of nine. And so all the units that are going to come onto the board are on the board, unless there's some card in here I'm not aware of. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, maybe we should uh, start a little bit. Though. I don't know. Is it even noon yet? Ah, close enough. Okay, let's draw some French cards here, and we are in our new campaign deck. Ooh, Coy Diplomacy. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, well, yeah, that's that's one we're definitely going to take. All right, and that's our Indian card. Stage lacrosse game. Oh, yeah, here we go. Interesting little historical uh, flavor here. And we're here on the British side, and we got this nice card here. And now it's time, I think we're going to go ahead and play this one while we got it. All right. Uh, let's see, initiative five versus initiative one. So the British are going to decide who goes first. Now, I always have trouble with that. If I was in a two-player game, this might make a lot more sense. Uh, let's think. I think I'll have the British go first. Uh, this AR is actually not going to kick off. Uh, you have to have four uh, victory points. I don't, I could put it in reserve. Uh, getting two more, uh, it's not, for this card, it's it's not worth it. I don't think for the amount of time we have left. All right, so we'll just keep with what we got, and we go straight to the British. And, all right, so with my light unit, I am going to activate this Mohawk here. And we're going to go one, two, pick up Armstrong, and go here, three. And then there will be a battle here. And that leaves Oswego and you know, the fort over here a little exposed. So, therefore, here, let's use spent markers to make sure we know what we're doing. Uh, we're going to use one army move to go one. And then we're going to pick up, what are we going to pick up? And let's see, one, and then pick up this stack, two. And, oh, it's, uh, I forgot to put him in there, but we got uh, a leader here, Brad Street, who goes with the, who are they? The first Royal American, okay. And that's my first uh, army move. My second army move will be to, I'm going to activate this uh, New York, New Jersey unit, and one, two, to the fort. And uh, just kind of shore that up in case they try to mount an attack. Uh, he could still win. Mm. And with my last army, we're going to go ahead and complete that fort down there. Oh, I suppose I should make this historical as close as possible to what I can't. Uh, right here, Edward. And that is the British move. Moving on to the French. First, we're going to use an army move to move these guys. One, two, and we will prepare a defense for Ticonderoga since it's heating up in the middle here. Uh, should I? What else can I do? Oh, I'm supposed to use my Indian uh, moves first. Ah, that's okay. I mean, I, well, all right. Let's 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 rewind that. We will uh, do our Indian movements first. Hang on. All right, for my first Indian movement, we're gonna take him, and I have a double Indian movement here, if you remember. So that goes from uh, three movement points to six. One two, three, four. And we'll take this, cutting off this fort. Okay, for my other Indian move, let's think of this. Uh, for my second one, we're gonna come back here with this Detroit guy who's not doing much, and we're just gonna go one, two, 
three, get him into a position to do stuff. Alright. Uh, let's see. With my... That's the Indian card. Now we're on the French card. Now we will do what we said we were going to do before. And let's put these guys here. Uh, I will use the army part of that. To go ahead and activate Quebec. Oh, there's a boat there. Oh, I can't see that. Can you? And, oh yeah, there's the leader. And bring him down. One, two, to get ready to possibly to reinforce. In case that goes a little trouble. Okay, and I have one light movement left, which I think I'm just going to come over here. Well, no, that would leave Niagara open if I did that. Um, yeah, I think I'm bring these guys ahead before and move them up a little, even a little further. One, two, three. Now they're in a little bit of better position to support. Okay, that's everyone's movements. And so we have one battle here, right here. And I assume this is going to be a big flag battle. Uh, I'm actually, I could have overrun these guys if I had one more unit, but I didn't. Oh, well. Um, like so. Here, let's speed this up. Uh, we got them all spread out here. So, light units. We are the British or the attackers. They're going to have several re-rolls in here. Uh, no, only with the... Um, yeah, I don't think they can win. All right, so... Armstrong first. B&T, which is nothing. For light units. Uh, we go to the Mohawk. There's a flag that will jump us up to one to zero on the battle track. And let's see. We have a Highland Grade, Highland Brigade. He rolls and rolls a flag, and that's the best he will be able to do against light units. So that's going to jump him up to two to zero. Uh, we have the first Royal American who rolls and rolls a square, but um, let's see here. Uh, that would be a miss, but. The um, Bread Street allows a reroll, so he might be able to catch a flag here. He does not. We move on to two colonial units. Ah, uh, nothing there. Nothing to help there. Then we have two artillery. And nothing there as well. So there's not going to be a route today. So we have two light units. And looks like we got one hit. So. And the adva battle marker advances. Well, the battle I need to get the order right. The battle marker would advance. It's in the positive column, so that would actually do a hit. Okay. And finally, we got this light Indian. Ah, uh, misses. That is the battle. The British actually win by one. So, the light units are going to have to retreat. In which case, we will send them up to the fort here. So, and let's go ahead and clean this up. Uh, we take control of Lake George once again. And so the score goes down to Brit the French winning by one. And that is the round. Now, a little cleanup here, and something interesting happens. Uh, first, we discard our cards. And we have managed to cut off this fort. He cannot supply from anywhere, because again, he has to be able to use paths. That, um, And all he has is this highway, but this highway goes nowhere but into enemy territory. So for the moment, he is going to be suffering penalties. So, that is it. A little back and forth. Uh, a lot of units starting to pile in this middle area here. Uh, and that might end up being the, the main battleground. Uh, join us next time when it is time for Action Round 5. And thanks for watching.